When Man United lost 3-0 to Spurs, Jose Mourinho didn't sulk and walk down the tunnel. He stood in front of the Stretford end and he applauded the home supporters because unlike at Chelsea, unlike at any club that he has ever been at before, Jose Mourinho really still feels the support that Manchester United fans have given him. And none more so than the Burnley away end. It was hailed as one of the best away ends in years. Jellison wasn't there. But Man United fans, they were singing Jose Mourinho's name all game long. Man United responded with a 2-0 comfortable win. And Jose Mourinho responded by going to the away end, giving his jacket. Here's a quick video of Mourinho saying thanks to the fans for their support. Now, Fergie was a manager who built a siege mentality and United in their pomp, everybody in, the, in England hated us. Because we were so good, we were winning everything. You tend to hate what's doing well. And it was very much an anyone but Manchester United mentality, in the press anyway. And Man United fans, we were galvanised. We stood behind Fergie in everything that he said and he did. And it made us such a hard team to play against because we were united from the ground up. Now, Mourinho, there's still part of the fan base, there's still some of you that are going to disagree that he's the right man for Manchester United. But for me, what we've seen and his response to this criticism, to the Spurs game, to him after the game, to how he acted after the Burnley game and how the fans responded, they stood behind him. Everybody stood behind him in that ground. And I'm starting to feel galvanised. Is Mourinho the right man that's really going to help us overthrow Guardiola? Maybe not. Maybe that won't happen because Man City are doing so, so well. And Liverpool are really looking strong under Jurgen Klopp. But for me, the last week or two has shown for me that Manchester United have the right manager in Jose Mourinho right now. He's galvanised the fans. He's got, he's got the core support on his side. And as long as he's got that, he still has a chance at Manchester United. Absolutely. We've got the squad. The squad is good enough to challenge for the Premier League. We've got Sanchez up there. We've got Lukaku, Marciano and Rashford in midfield. We've got Pogba, we've got Herrera, we've got Fred, we've got Matic. Defence is the question mark, but we've got a world-class goalkeeper behind them. Yes, it was a shit start to the season with Brighton and Spurs. Abysmal, abysmal games. But we responded against Burnley. Yes, it was only Burnley, but Burnley finished seventh last year, guys. Come on, give them some credit where it's due. Sean Dyche has built his team to be tough to play against. Yes, they're in the Europa League and that's not doing them any favours, but Man United, were, we weren't clinical against Burnley. It should have been six or seven maybe, but we were comfortably the winning team in that game. And this season, I don't know, it feels different. It feels different with Mourinho right now. And I, I used to hate Mourinho for seeing how he approached the press when he was a manager of a different club because he wasn't the manager of my football club, but he is now. And it's like Fergie. When Fergie, yeah, he didn't have a good relationship with the press at all. Banned BBC for seven years because of something they wrote about his son. Don't try and act like Man United have, have got managers in their history that have great relationships with the press. Jose Mourinho is fucking right. There are agendas against him. When managers and, and clubs of other teams, they lose, there's nowhere near the same reaction. When Manchester United have beaten Burnley, have you seen much in the press this week? Have you, fuck? You haven't seen much at all. Because Man United didn't lose. If Man United did lose, we'd be all over the back pages. But because we won, it's not the real story. But I just get a really good feeling of what I've seen in the last week or two. Maybe the last week. The response to the Spurs game. On the pitch and off the pitch. The fans standing there supporting Jose Mourinho. Mourinho responding by showing how much he appreciates it. Now we've got Watford next. A tough game given how Watford are playing so far this season. But I just get the feeling that maybe things are going to start turning around. And I really get the feeling 
that Mourinho is appreciating the support he's seeing from Manchester United's fans. He never got that at Chelsea. He got booed. He got booed at Real Madrid. I don't know what happened at Inter. Maybe he did. I don't think he did. He won a treble there. But he's not got that at Manchester United. There might be a section of supporters that don't feel he's the right man because he goes against the ethics of the club. But the ethics and the traditions of the club have been fucking destroyed since Fergie retired. And it's about time we had a manager who said fuck it to everybody else and really tried to take Manchester United forward in his style. No matter how that is, he's won the Europa League, he's won the League Cup, he's been to the FA Cup final in his first two years as manager. Far from a failure. And for me, I'm still very much Jose Mourinho in and I think you should be too.